we begin today's list with the regimental uh, rules. Uh, tank battles are becoming uncommon with modern warfare taking place at a distance. Military industrial titans have prioritized effective camouflage techniques rather as a result of this shift. One such invention is the Rossi Small Defense System, a light vehicle specific device by the German business Raymental. Spartan fireworks are fired from multiple uh, 40 mm cannons that make up the system. But instead of flashing lights, the space stick uh, impenetrable uh, for. This has prevents the opponent from seeing you and filters infrared radiation, which makes incoming missiles uh, useless. It just takes a few seconds to activate Rosie, so the driver or mechanic has the final say over how well the operation goes. At number two, we have the Guardian uh, Warfighter Lab. There is nothing better than practical training in the field. Globally, soldiers must become skilled in grenade throwing, target shooting, and battlefield uh, maneuvering. The government warfighter training system recognizes the value of these fundamentals, but recommends including a real-world element by modeling assault operations with their own laboratory. They guarantee the best possible performance from their equipment, and their study nitrate helmets provide varying levels of protection, and their clever power banks smartly divide energy between devices. Whether it's the GoPro or the night vision equipment, the power bank uh, determines on its own where to direct additional power. The corporation is most part of the training center, which has security cameras uh, everywhere. At number three, we have the Milo uh, Aeronautics T400. When they were first introduced five years ago, drones were marketed alongside vintage remote control automobiles, and they were relatively expensive models with a 360 and two f by 240 pixel camera resolution. In the modern era, drones have evolved into war gods capable of engaging in combat with armored vehicles, directing artillery and fire and jump fire rather, and monitoring the enemy. Fortunately, drones are no longer uh, solely used for harm. They received uh, training for life-saving missions from Myron uh, AN8. XS and uh, the anonymous T400 was built uh, specifically for the purpose of rescuing injured people, and it is capable of lifting up to 200 kg of weight. One operator may fit comfortably within the drone, which has a clear cover that is closed from above. At number four, we have Zio uh, Geo CG HF. Napoleon would have spent a lot of money on this kind of portable water purification system. It is possible that his Egyptian expedition did not result in a crushing loss. The HFD purifier can clean both fresh and salt water and it is designed specifically for NATO soldiers. All that is required of a soldier is to open the case and insert one hose into the water supply and the other into a container. The HF uses uh, electricity to purify water and is run on BB290S DC batteries which can be charged using solar panels or standard outlets. Temperatures as high as 60 degrees Celsius can be tolerated by its waterproof construction. It's not quite uh, little though as Napoleon would require an additional cargo hose to transport it, if he owned one that is. At number 5 we have the vapor. Every year drones get better uh, but their four propeller frame doesn't change. Since it works so well for speed and stability, uh, vapor engineers, however, choose to defy convention by introducing a small electric helicopter intended for military use. The most notable aspect of this breakthrough is how long it can fly, which is about 70 to 105 minutes, depending on the configuration. When compared to drones that usually only last 40 minutes or less, this is a huge advancement, and in addition, the aircraft has a system in place to create three dimensional maps of the area. While the remaining specs are rather standard, the gadget can carry up to 10 kg of payload and its built-in camera uh, provides quality uh, comparable to that of the TJI Mavic 3. At number 6 was the Incas Hudson uh, Recon, a uh, armored, pers armored uh, personnel carrier. Rather. Uh, with the chases of this iconic SUV reinforced by the Hudson uh, Recon, uh, border forces will have an extremely uh, strong vehicle. The SUV is equipped with a four and a half liter turbo charged V8 engine that produces 202 horsepower. The Land Cruiser's uh, roof has an indicated opening uh, drone compartment. 
the market with uh, carrying a standard drone is more easier than hauling around a paper helicopter even on this off-road beast yeah and number seven we have the lb systems uh, sectional uh, personnel uh, bridge water barriers provide a difficult task for troops in advance and frequently serve as an organic division line to opposing enemies uh, particularly uh, permanent bridges meet a uh, terrible end when aircraft quickly demolishes them uh, at its command the soldiers are left with two choices they can construct a uh, makeshift portion bridge or use boats to cross the engineering systems uh, maker elbit has released an uh, improved design for temporary bridges that are suitable for infantry use. The shipping pallet, which weighs 630 kg, is the heaviest part of the system. The remaining components, which include uh, the portions and the roller water deployment system, and the 4 meter portions, weigh just over 40 kg. Uh, this implies that it should be feasible for two troops uh, from, the, from the engineer troop to pull them to the water. The, the 6 meter elbit bridge can be erected in 10 minutes by a skilled technician and doesn't require any extra support. The bridge needs portals uh, for wider water barriers. The best thing to do after landing safely on the other side is to proceed the bridge. The enemy will probably jump at a chance to take this priceless, uh, priceless creation away if they came across it. At number 8, we have the Tender Fire Pulp uh, Thermolite HISS HD. A real man uses a scope record videos instead of a phone or a video camera. A uh, video uh, capable device uh, called the Thermosite HISS HD was just released by the optics business uh, Teledyne uh, Flower. The best part is that the, this telescope uh, can see regular bullets up to 2200 meters distance. It has computers that respond to the bullets hit and an image sensor with a cray cooler. It weighs more than 2 kilograms and according to the manufacturer, it's an essential equipment for scouts, machine gunners, and snipers. At number 9, we have the Talon, a medium-sized uh, tactical robot. These days, dangerous troops are handled by robots, and since 2000, Kinetics has been producing the Talon 100, first responders and law enforcement rely on them. These robots are experts at handling both homemade bombs and pro-planted explosives. Talon has been visited Afghanistan and Iraq on several locations. The sixth generation of the robots is ready to go into production. These me uh, mechanized sappers have a telescopic arm uh, equipped with a video camera, uh, which makes them ideal for inspecting underneath vehicles or APCs. They also roll on trucks, and even films of Talon surviving blast waves are shared by its makers, but they don't really uh, reveal uh, what ultimately happens to the video cameras on the arm. At number 10, we have the Mawashi uh, apprentice. To get to the front line, soldiers must transport heavy equipment such as weapons, uh, body armor, helmets, ammunition, food, and medical supplies. Some businesses are testing exoskeletons, uh, while others are focusing on weight, uh, on weight reduction. Yeah? These gadgets are designed to lessen uh, the load somehow. The apprentice tactical exoskeleton, which requires uh, no batteries or charges, Predicted on some reliable uh, computations. Elevator uh, leaves uh, pressure on the, soldier, on the shoulders, uh, lower back, and the back. During testing, the US Army Special, uh, Special Forces discovered significant advantages and it does not slow soldiers' movement, thus, there is no need to be concerned about appearance of slow, uh, cumbersome uh, terminators anytime soon. At number 11, we have the remote controlled vehicle EMAP. Yeah? It was alleged, allegedly claimed by an artillery designer, a tank is basically a cut with a cannon that is entirely supported by the uh, remote controlled vehicle uh, EMAP. With his hybrid engine, this and one platform can accommodate a wide range of accessories. A telescopic crane, a rocket launcher, air defense system, a tank turret can all be connected. Additionally, the remote controlled vehicle uh, VMAP has a, a loader module uh, with a pitchfork, so even if you are not uh, preparing for battle, you can use it to make ordinary guiding tasks uh, into an exciting adventure. The platform has a top speed of 80 km per hour and a maximum range of nearly 320 km on a full tank. And fully charged battery. Yeah? Transporting it is simple through a transport aircraft or a helicopter. At number 2, we have the regimental HX. Heavy duty trucks are just as important in modern warfare as, as tanks, rather, and armored personnel vehicles. 
uh, who else is more suitable for moving animation or howling tanks for repairs? Uh, the HX series of each wheel is constructed on the robust ladder frame of the HTSC VDM vehicle mantle was unveiled by Ray Meso. Uh, with its longer rubber springs, shock absorbers, and stabilizers, the machine suspension uh, system ensures a smooth ride and a good safety margin for any front terrain. There are different variations of the HX, and some are suitable for carrying damaged equipment, while others can move passengers. And and number 13, we have the Onsing uh, Ram uh, T. Are you concerned that your packages uh, may be damaged during delivery? See the Ram uh, T shockproof capsule uh, device designed to remove uh, your worries. Parachutes are used to drop it uh, whenever guns, uh, medical supplies, communications, or unmanned devices are needed in an emergency. It has a 56 kg weight and a maximum payload weight of 181 kg. For land transportation, the capsule is equipped with polyethylene uh, wheels as well. Just remember that this will puncture your roof if you order it for your house rather than uh, the front ends. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more content like this. See you in the next uh, video.